This Chicago do's and don'ts by Fair Play 2333. If a Chicago hooper say, hey, on that car, man. Yeah, bro, but I'm thinking about going to play for Coach B at Olive Harvey next fall. Don't discourage, bro, by talking down on the Chicago community colleges. This could be a great stepping stone for him to make it D1. Yeah, bro, I heard he be letting his players score 50 and his players be going to four years. I'm trying to get up out the hood. Salute to the HBCUs of Chicago. Olive Harvey, Malcolm X, Kennedy King. Now, I don't know much about two of the three schools, but I know if you go play for Olive Harvey, Coach B gonna let you put that ball in the hole if you can put that ball in the hole. One, you can't be a street person and a hooper. We see it far too many times that something happened and then somebody say, oh, he didn't deserve that. You can't play both sides of the street. You got to decide to be in the gym or in the streets. Both not going to work. Two, nothing wrong with going to one of the city colleges of America until you can get on your feet. Some people need grades. Some people need to get their game better. And some people just don't got the money to go away right away. Don't let these bums discourage y'all. Three, coaches. Y'all got to treat these high school players from Chicago special like y'all treat these out-of-town players. I hate when I see a coach or go recruit somebody from Kansas and roll out the red carpet, but then they recruit somebody from Chicago and act like they ain't got to do nothing but just bring them up to the school and they supposed to want to go there? Four, coaches, whether you like it or not, a lot of these players came up in the street, so you're going to have to have a little more patience with them to get them on the right track. They've been in the streets longer than they've been on the basketball court. And for some of them, they've been in the streets and on the basketball court simultaneously. Five, I would love for you young black players to go to an HBCU, but don't let these black coaches trick y'all into saying, oh, you need to play black. No, they need to really recruit y'all and show y'all what they really have to offer you. Going to a college just because it's historically black and the coach is black is not enough. Six, this for all the young players in Chicago. I hear a lot of players say that they're going to be homesick if they go away and they're going to miss their homies. Guess what? Think about the four years you was in high school playing basketball. Your homies was either in the projects or on the block every day. When you left the school, they was there. When you came back, they was there. So guess what? If you go do four years of college and it don't work out and you want to come back and be a full-time street dude, they'll still be there, the ones who not dead or in jail. Thing about money, man, it's so fucking crazy, man. It'll change people, man. It'll have baby mamas out here putting you on child support, man. It'll have your mama telling you not to do it. Then the next week, man, she telling you, oh, I need half on the rent. Man, it'll make kill their brother. They blew up with their whole life, man. For the fucking blue bills, bro.